Run just a little bit late milking and the old cow thinks she's gonna starve to death. Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead or Leaving Egypt, depending on which video platform you're watching this on. My name is Justin. This is Stella, the family milk cow. Getting her cleaned up this morning. We're running a little late. We got in late last night. Slept in a little bit. So uh running a little bit behind this morning and we got a lot to do today, so we're gonna talk to you while we milk, if that's all right with y'all. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate you once again. Um, if you like our channel, if the videos we make are something you like, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, but also um, follow us, like us, whatever you wanna call it, on Facebook at Built on Faith Homestead, and also on Rumble at Leaving Egypt, because Every once in a while, YouTube gets a wild hair and decides to kick me off for a little while. Know what I mean? Get one of them community guideline strikes. Even whenever I think I'm talking in code enough where y'all understand it, but it doesn't hit, but it still ends up hitting sometimes. So I like to talk while I work. You can ask my wife when we're picking green beans or breaking beans or working in the garden. Like, that's a good time to have a conversation, right? Help the time go by. It's always good. Plus, you're doing a little something. You're not just sitting still. Um, I don't sit still well. I go to sleep. This is what happens. Oh, easy, girl. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Calm down. Okay. Running a little late, and her uh, udders are full, which makes them more sensitive, which makes her a little more touchy. Uh, at least that's what I've concluded. I haven't researched that to find out whether that's right or not. Uh, but that seems what happens when I run a little late. She gets a little jumpy. Today, spring has sprung. But somebody forgot to tell the temperature because it's cold, and it's rainy, it's windy, nasty outside. And so, uh, we got a lot to do today. We're gonna try to do as much of it under a roof as possible. I have to try to stay out of this rain. Um, but, uh, I will try to talk to you guys while I work. Uh, I enjoy talking while I work, enjoy having conversations while I work. Helps the time go by a little bit faster. Um, and you're getting two things done at once, which is always good. So what are we gonna talk about today? Today I wanna talk about these CBDCs, uh, right? Digital, uh, central bank digital currencies. Now, uh, surely you guys are all familiar with the banking collapses that went on and uh, familiar by now with digital currency and all these things. The central bank digital currencies is something that Christians, for sure, and others have warned about for years now, right? So Christians for years have talked about a cashless society being put in place to help implement the control that it will take for the mark of the beast and those kinds of things, right? And that's not Christians being like, overwhelmingly smart or anything like that that's just christians reading the bible and going if this is going to happen the best way that i can see for control to occur is for there to be some sort of digital currency now uh in case you're wondering i'll show you a list of countries i found on google that either already have central bank digital currencies or they are in the um, research and implement stages of that i'll show you that list right here Here's a list of the countries that already have central bank digital currencies, or they are kind of in the process and development stage of um, putting these out to do a trial run. So China, Sweden, the Bahamas, Nigeria, Russia, and Singapore. Good old US of A, Brazil, Canada, India, Jamaica, Eastern Caribbean Union, and Ecuador. Iran, Japan, Malaysia, Norway. I don't know how to say this one, sorry. Singal. Turkey and Uruguay. 
Once again, these are countries that either already have central bank digital currencies or they are getting ready to launch them for nothing else, at least a trial run. So you can tell most of the world's powers are trying to go to the central bank digital currency. Um, if you know anything about like ID2020, which I have talked about at length on this channel, um, part of ID2020's initiatives is to get everybody connected to the banking system. They want everybody to have a bank account, right? Which sounds great, it sounds dandy. Can you imagine the level of control involved with a centralized, federalized digital currency? Um, with no freedom at all with your cash. Everything attached to this centralized digital currency. Um, and I believe that this will lead into the mark of the beast because without that mark of the beast and yes for anybody watching i know youtube you can get all kinds of stuff going on um, yes i believe it's a physical mark that's going to be applied in one way shape or form whether it be implanted or actually applied topically on top of your skin whatever it is um i do believe it's a physical thing i have uh, went through over and over and over again studying this praying about it and it's just what i felt like God spoke to me whenever I was studying out whether this is a, an actual physical mark or just a spiritual one. I believe it's a spiritual mark first, if you will, something that somebody makes their mind up in, but then that will manifest in the physical when a person takes it in either their right hand or forehead. And what I felt like when I was going back and forth, because you can make a solid argument that it's not really a physical mark, it's what you do with your hands and the way that you think or uh, something like that, right? You can make a solid argument. But uh, when I was praying about it, I felt like God told me Satan always will try to operate in the physical. And this too will operate in the physical. And so um, I do believe it will be a physical marking of some sort, whether it be an implanted chip, whether it be nanotech technology running through your veins that you have to have to buy and sell, all connected to this central bank digital currency. Uh, the push to get everybody, get the technology inside of you, right, is what they said at the World Economic Forum. Um, no longer will cell phones be the primary interface, but the technology will be inside of you. The lady asked, how long before we have it on glasses? And he was like, ah, forget that. It's going to be inside of you, right? Um, all of that coupled with this ID2020 and the central bank digital currency thought processes and ideas. Um, we are just pushing further and further to this mark of the beast, which is why... People like me try to do channels like this to talk about world events and also talk about wild edibles and growing gardens and milking cows and all that kind of stuff, right? You do what you can for as long as you can to help your family survive. Now, that being said, not a lick of that's going to do you any good unless you are saved, born again, child of God, right? Not a lick of it's going to do you any good. They can come and take my milk cow. Um, they can come and take over our gardens right they can come and take even our firearms all that kind of stuff um all of that is in play right now right um but if you're a child of god they can't take your freedom because your freedom doesn't come from man it comes from god uh your freedom does not come from the united states constitution it comes from god so if you have god living down in your heart you have the kingdom of God inside of you, as it says in the book of Luke, and you are truly free. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Where the Spirit of God resides down inside of you, there's freedom. There's liberty. So, no doubt these central bank digital currencies um, are just ushering in the mark of the beast. There's no doubt about that. We appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to finish milking. I've got to feed the rest of the animals. And then we'll probably move some seed starts into bigger cups. Try to stay out of the rain today. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next video.